Do you have endless information to share with the world? Well, in this After Effects video, we're gonna show you how to make an upbeat, seamless text loop animation that will allow you to tunnel your vision. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Bertel with Sonduk Film. Make sure you drop a like on this video, it helps us out a ton, and let's get started. The first thing we'll do is get our looping title animation set up. Here we have our title, and we'll start by highlighting it and going up to Layer, Layer Styles, Gradient Overlay, and Layer, Layer Styles, Stroke. Open the gradient overlay, select Edit Gradient, we'll select the left side and set it to a bright pink, select the right side, set it to a bright purple, click OK, set the angle to 180 degrees, then open the stroke, set the color to white, and the size to 12. Next we'll make our reflection, so duplicate the title layer, put it underneath of the original, then go to Layer, Transform, Flip Vertical, press P for Position, then bring it down a bit so that there's a gap between the titles. Press T for Opacity, set the Opacity to 15%, go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur, set the blurriness to 8, and uncheck Repeat Edge Pixels. Parent the reflection to the main title like this, then highlight both titles, press T for Opacity, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, move forward 2 frames, set another keyframe, move to 1 second on the timeline, add a keyframe, move forward two more frames and add one last keyframe. Now set the opacity to 0% on the last and first keyframes so that the title appears then disappears after one second like this. Highlight both titles, right click, select pre-compose, we'll name it text1, click OK, then enable the pre-comp as a 3D layer, enable motion blur, and we'll resize the pre-comp on the layer list to end right after when our text disappears. Press P for position on the pre-comp, set a keyframe, move the title's Z position toward the camera, move forward on the timeline, put the Z position far away from the camera, then move the keyframes to the beginning and end of the pre-comp. Now the title will appear close to the camera, move away, then disappear like this. Our main title is set up, so now we can start duplicating. First, duplicate the pre-comp on the layer list, highlight the original, then go to the project panel, duplicate the pre-comp there, hold the Alt key and drag the new pre-comp over the duplicated one to replace it. Now we can change what the title says in this pre-comp without it changing the original. Open the second pre-comp, we'll change the text to something different, then go back to the main composition, and will offset the second pre-comp by 12 frames on the timeline. The titles will look a bit clumped up at first, but that's going to change when we add in the camera later. I'm going to fast forward while I repeat the process of duplicating the pre-comps on the layer list and in the project panel, changing the text, and offsetting them on the timeline until I have a good amount of words. You can make this as long or as short as you'd like. And now we have our text layer set up, animated, and ready to go. Next, we'll set up and animate our camera, as well as add our floor layer to give some depth to the composition. Create a camera by going to Layer, New, Camera, click OK, open the camera, open Transform and Camera Options, set the Z position to negative 800 and the zoom to positive 800. Enable Depth of Field, scroll on the timeline to where you can see some text in the back, then adjust the focus distance until the text further back in the composition becomes blurry like this. Next, we'll quickly create our floor layer, so go to Layer, New, Solid, set the color to a dark gray, and click OK. Bring the position of the solid down so that it's at the halfway point of the composition like this, then adjust the anchor point so that it's at the very top of the solid. Now increase the scale of the solid so that it's really big, we're doing this because when we animate our camera, the floor always needs to be visible. Now enable the layer as a 3D layer, and then push its Z position far back so that it doesn't overlap any of the text. Next we'll animate the camera, so go to the camera and set a keyframe for Z rotation at the start of the timeline, set the rotation to 13 degrees, move to 2 seconds on the timeline, set the rotation to 0, move forward a bit more, increase the full rotations by 1, then move to 5 seconds on the timeline and set the rotation to 347 degrees. Highlight the two keyframes in the middle, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor tool, and bring both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. Now we have our camera animated over our looping text and our 3D floor layer made. 
Before we move on, as you probably know, video editing and doing motion graphics can take a lot of time and effort. To help you save time and create professional quality work, we've developed Motion Duck, an extension that includes thousands of templates. These templates can be easily previewed and applied with a simple click, and you can quickly adjust the parameters to suit your project. If you're looking for an edge in your work, be sure to check out all the templates we have available for After Effects and Premiere Pro by following the links below. And remember, creating content can be time consuming, but with Motion Duck, it doesn't have to be. Lastly, we'll finish off this composition by making a background layer and importing an overlay. The background is pretty straightforward. Start by going to Layer, New, Solid. We'll make the solid a dark red color. Click OK. Right click the new solid. Select Precompose. We'll name it Background and click OK. Open that pre-comp, select the Ellipse tool, set Fill to Solid Color, Stroke to None, hold Shift, click and drag to create a circle, then hold Control and double click the Pan Behind tool to center its anchor point. Go to Effect, Generate, Fill. We'll set the color to a bright pink, then duplicate that circle and change the color of its fill to a standard red. Now all you need to do is start duplicating these two red circles, changing their position, and scale, filling up your composition until you have a big field of circles, put some outside of the composition as well because we'll be rotating them all. To rotate them, go to Layer, New, Null Object, parent all of the circles to this null, press R for rotation on the null, then Alt click the stopwatch, type in Time, Asterisk, 15, so that all of the circles rotate together, then back out to the main composition and put the background precomp at the very bottom of the layer list. Now I'm going to import a particle overlay using our Motion Duck extension. And once that's out on the timeline, I'll enable it as a 3D layer, turn on Motion Blur, and put it underneath of the camera layer. The final thing you can do to add some variety to the composition is open up one of the text precomps, and I'm going to add a character graphic that I imported from Illustrator. I'll add a fill effect to it so that it's more visible, then position it right next to the text like this. When I back out of this pre-comp, you can see that when that text flies by, the character is now next to it as well. Now you know how to make this awesome, seamless text loop animation with some cool new techniques and After Effects. Thanks for watching the video. We love seeing your work, so be sure to tag us on our Instagram at Sondugfilm if you created anything from this video. And remember, always be creating.